Let's translate John 17, verses 1 through 5. Tavta elalisen, Jesus ke eparas, tus ophthalmus, of tu is ton uranon, i ben. Pater elilithen i ora, doxa son su ton uion, ina o vios doxa si se, kathos edokas, of Edokas of to, exusian pasi sarcos, in upon o dedokas, of to dosi of tis zoin eonion, of ti de estin i eonios zoi, in a genoscosin seton monon, alithinon, theon, ke on apestilas, apestilas, yisun. Christon. Ego se edoxasa epitis gis to ergon teliosas o dedocas mi ina piiso. Ke nin doxason me si pater. Para se afto ti doxi i ichon pro tu ton cosmon ine para si. Literally, these things he spoke, Jesus, and lifted up the eyes of him into heaven, said, Father, it has come the hour. So glorify your son in order that the son might glorify you just as you gave to him authority of all flesh in order that everyone who gives in order that everyone whom you gave to him might be given to him to them eternal life but this is eternal life that they might know you the only true God and which or and who you sent Jesus Christ I you glorify so I glorify you um, this is Eris so I glorified you on the earth the work is finished which you gave to me in order that I might do and now glorify me you father beside no this is data with yourself in glory which I had before the world to be with you Jesus said or spoke these things Um, um 
Jesus is still speaking or the subject but now we have a nominative participle so diagram it this way so you can see the, this is parallel this is a verb but it's a participle um, it's also nominative so I'm letting it function here parallel to Jesus um, but there's no actual main verb in this in this phrase so eparas tu sophthalmus of tu east tone uranon is describing some sort of concurrent action, temporaneous action. Jesus spoke these things and raising up his eyes to heaven said. What does he say? Father. The hour has come. Pater here is vocative. So I'm going to set it off to the side so as not to confuse it as a nominative. Here's our nominative over here. The hour has come. Glorify. the son of you glorify your son by putting sue earlier in the text it it adds emphasis here on your son in order that the Son might glorify you. Just as also you gave to him authority now, pasis here is genitive. Sarcos is genitive, so authority of all flesh. In order that every one whom now we have a second person singular perfect active indicative. So everyone whom the father had given to the son. This is all essentially the subject. Here's our main verb. <clears throat> This is all essentially this, the main subject because this verb is part of a relative clause. The relative clause is related to pawn. Everyone whom you have given to him might be given. And then of T's here is dative. What are they to be given? Eternal life. In order that everyone whom you have given to him might be given to them eternal life. But this is eternal life. Now 
that they might know you. You meaning ton monon alithion theon. Alithinon theon. And that they might know whom well actually I'm going to move this over right there know you the only true God and whom you sent Jesus Christ I glorify or glorified you. And then Epi here is genitive, which we can tell because of Tis Geese. I'm going to move these for the second. And we're going to attach it to the verb on the earth. Then we have a participial phrase, glorified you, to ergon teliosas. So the work, uh, the finished work. See, this is a verb, telio, but it's a participle here. Masculine, singular, nominative, Arist, act, uh, arist, arist active participle. To ergon is accusative. So I'm going to move it like this. And then o de docas is attached to to ergon. The work which you gave to me to do. And I'm just going to put it up here like this to save some space. And now you glorify me. Father. So here we have the dative para seavto. with yourself in the glory which I had. Now we have genitive before the world was. All right, so we have Jesus spoke these things and raising up his eyes to heaven said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son 
in order that the Son might glorify you, just as you gave to him authority of all flesh, in order that every one who you gave to him might be given might give to them eternal life and this is eternal life that they might know you the only true god and whom you sent jesus christ i glorify you i glorified you on the earth by or i'll just say I glorified you on the earth, completing the work which you gave to me in order that I might do. And now you glorify me, Father, with yourself in the glory which I had with you before the world was. So looking at this diagram, what stands out to me, especially here, is pro two tone cosmon ine. Why, why do we have two tone? This is genitive and then accusative. So I'm going to look that up specifically. I have a feeling this is probably better. So I'm going to look at that. We have a lot of vocab to go over, so let's get started. All right, so Tavta is utos. This, and in the plural, these. This is la leo. So this is to talk or speak. So he said these things. There we go, 17.1. So he spoke these things, said these things. Pero. So this is arrow to raise but with the preposition epi on the, on the beginning. So prefixed, lift up, hold up. So he looked up with his eyes, raised his eyes to heaven. So the preposition is uh, into, in, toward, or to to until on degree up to marker of goals involving effective abstract suitability aspects in two or two marker of a specific point of reference for two with respect to with reference to so in this sense it's simply two or towards looking at a specific target or goal this goal being heaven uranos Okay, this is translated heaven, uh, but it's, it's a physical space distinguished from planet Earth. So it can be a reference to the firmament or sky over the Earth. Out of reach for humans. It could be the starry heaven, atmosphere, transcendent abode. Usually the plural is preferred for this meaning. We do not have a plural here. We have singular. And yet, here it is in this list. So just because it says the plural is preferred doesn't mean it's guaranteed. And then Epen here is Lego. So we had La Leo and we have Lego. This is utter in words, say, tell, give expression to. Father, patir, except we're dealing with the vocative. Now, 
Ellie Lee then, if you remember your vocabulary and you know that this is an irregular verb, it's ercome. Ercome is irregular, so it takes different uh, appearances across the, the tenses. So this is ercome, third singular perfect active indicative. Normally ercome means something like to come. So the hour has come. We're saying has come because it's perfect active. Ora, time of day, hour. Doxazo. So this is uh, to glorify, to praise, honor, extol. This um, definitely matters for one's reputation, especially in an honor-based society. Here, the use is along the lines of clothe and splendor, to cause to have splendidness, greatness. It is a favorite term in John, in which the whole life of Jesus is depicted as a, a glorifying of the Son by the Father, and at the same time, of the Father by the Son. The glorifying of the Son is brought about by the miracles which the Father has him perform. Weos, son, offspring, descendant, person related or closely associated, as if by ties of sonship. And here's our first Ina clause. So Ina is a marker to denote purpose, aim, or goal, translated as in order that, or sometimes simply just that. It's combined with the subjunctive in the New Testament, and that's exactly what we have here. We have ina plus subjunctive. In order that the Son might glorify you. So it's telling purpose. Just as you gave, just as kathos, this is comparison, just as. Uh, it could be extent or degree. To the degree that. It could be of cause, so causal, since, insofar as. Especially as a conjunction beginning a sentence, which we have here. So it's not just as, it's since. Since you gave to him authority, so edokas, this is didomi, a me verb, it means to give, bestow, grant, produce, yield, entrust, render, appoint, sacrifice. Allow, extend, with genitive following over someone. Over. So, just as you gave to him authority over all flesh. So the genitive with the ditto me. So the genitive with the ditto me here creates over, over all flesh. So you gave to him authority. Exousia. So this is control over something. This is one's rights. Power, might, capability, authority, absolute power, warrant, and with the genitive of that 
over which the authority is exercised. So this authority is exercised over all flesh. Okay, pas pas upon, pasis here means each, every, any. It's feminine singular genitive, so all, um, every, we'll just say all flesh, uh, but it is singular. And then sarcos here is also singular. Sarks, flesh. So normally this would be uh, the material that covers one's body, right? The organ. It could be the physical body. It can be a physical being, living beings. It reminds me of Lord of the Rings, the orcs wanting to taste man flesh. It's probably not the same thing, but I thought I'd mention it. So it can be used of humans. So translated as person, human being. Pasa sarks. Every person, every one. So all flesh. Every person. Every person makes a lot of sense here. In order that... We say that because we have ina plus subjunctive. Ina plus subjunctive. In order that every one whom you gave to him might give to them eternal life. So, second person singular refers to the father. Third person singular refers to the son. The father gives certain individuals to the son. The son then gives to those individuals. He, here now collectively, aftis. So, pan is uh, singular, aftis is plural. Pan, o dedokas, puts the emphasis on each individual that the father gives to the son. Avtis places the emphasis on the collective of all those people that the son has in his possession. He gives to all of them eternal life. We've seen life eternal before. Uh, life in the physical sense, but also life in the transcendent sense. Aeonion, everlasting life. Life without end. Now, de usually means but, but it can mean and. And this is eternal life. Now we have ina plus subjunctive. Is this a purpose clause. BDAG says Ina can also take the place of the explanatory infinitive after a demonstrative. So Avti is, is our demonstrative pronoun. And then Ina and then our subjunctive. So in this case, it's going to take the place of an infinitive. But this is eternal life. That you might know or that they might know you, that they might know you. So ina gnoskos in here is along the lines of an infinitive. So uh, you can test it, but this is eternal life to know you. Yeah, that works. You can say that. And what it's doing is it's explaining this, this, that, this, that. Gnosko, to know, be an acquaintance of, personal object, you. To monon. Normally this means something like only.
But here its relation is to theos, monos theos. So the only true God, alithinos, this is true, trustworthy, real, genuine, and of course, theos, God, transcendent being, deity, God, goddess. There we go. Omonos alithinos theos. Or theon. I guess in, in our verse, it's theon because it's accusative. Although in this example here, it's all nominative. And whom you sense, singular, second person singular, first active indicative, apostello, Jesus Christ. Now let's take a look at apostello here. This is to dispatch someone for achievement of some objective, send out or send away. This is especially of sending out the disciples by Jesus. It's also uh, sending out Jesus by God. This is of his divine mission, whom you sent. Jesus Christ. So in this case, Yisun Christon is the predicate of uh, apostilas, apostilas as the object that was sent. I, you, glorified. Doxazo. First singular aorist active indicative. So I glorified you on the earth. Epi. Mark of location or surface answering the question where, on, upon, or near. On the earth, geese. We saw uh, Uranos earlier. Now we're looking at geese or gi, earth. This is the surface of the earth, humanity's space. Now, BDAG says it's the inhabitants of the earth in the associative sense. So, on the earth equals among people. So, I glorified you among people. In other words, it's public, right? It's not private. To ergon. So, this is work, deed, action. Occupation, task, work. And here we see our phrase. Ton, to ergon, teliun. Finish the work. Slightly different verb. But you see John 17, 4 here as an example of it. I glorified you on the earth or among the people. Finishing, because it's a participle, finishing the work. Let's take a look at teleo. -o. So it means to complete an activity, complete, bring to an end, finish, accomplish. Accomplish the work. So if we're dealing with a participle here, I want to look at our grammar. And we're going to go look for participles. So this does not appear to be adjectival. It would have to modify a substantive or assert something about it as a predicate, but that doesn't appear to be the case here. I think this is gonna be adverbial. It's grammatically subordinated to its controlling verb. I believe that is the case here. The participle modifies the verb answering the question when how or why i believe that's what we have here i glorified you when how or why well i finished the work is it temporal i don't think time is the force here is it manner well how did you glorify well 
by finishing the work. So it answers how. Manner refers to emotion. That's not the case here. So it's got to be means. It answers how. And does it pass the by test? I glorified you by completing the work, by finishing the work. Yes, it passes that test with flying colors. So this is means. So I glorified you by finishing the work which you gave to me in order that I might do it. I think this is going to be another one of those explanatory infinitives. No, BDAG says it's not. It's after a perfect subjunctive aim or goal. So the work uh, which you gave to me in order that I might do it. You can just simplify the English translation though, which you gave to me to do. How does the NRS NR NRSV have it? Let's see. Yeah, that's how the NRSV has it. And then of course there's PL to do, make, manufacture, produce, undertake, bring about, accomplish. K nin, so K normally means and, also likewise with other particles. K gar, K ge, K de, K t, and now 17.5 with other particles. It's odd that they would put it under the classification of beta with the definite article. There's no definite article here. And now glorify you glorify me, Father. Para. This is dative. This is genitive, so we're going to skip A, go to B. Mark of nearness in space, at, by, beside, near, with. Glorify me with yourself. It's the reflexive pronoun of the second person singular. Genitive, dative, and accusative. In glory. So glory meaning uh, shining, brightness, splendor, radiance. Here we see... Christ's pre-existence. This is the state of being in the next life, this, thus described as participation in the radiance or glory, aka glorification, which I had, echo, I had to have to own before, pro, before in front of, and this is genitive before the the world to be be exist be on hand to describe a special connection between the subject and a predicate noun which I had so the subject is I uh, this isn't a Appear to be predicate at all. This is infinitive. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to take a look at infinitives here. Not substantival. Mm, might be independent, I'm not sure. Is it articular? I would say it's an articular infinitive with a governing preposition. So 
our preposition is pro. Ooh, it's not listed here. 611. Oh, lovely. Okay, so that one's not going to help. Let's see if we can find anything in BDF. So, Auntie 2 instead of Dia Pontos to Zine throughout life. Back to Anakin, Eos, Mechri. Ah, Pro 2 with the Aorist. Well, that's present. Ah, with the present only. John 17, 5. Ine. Okay. So. We have pro 2 ine. It's just as I thought. Pro 2 ine. So we know it's with the genitive. Pro tu imas etise. That's Matthew 6 8. Pro tu with accusative and infinitive. So this is the construction pro plus tu plus accusative plus infinitive. Pro tu plus accusative plus infinitive. So before was the world, which I had before the world was with you. It's still dative with you. So to translate, Jesus spoke these things after lifting his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son in order that the son might glorify you because you gave him authority over all flesh in order that he might give eternal life to them, everyone whom you have given him. But this is eternal life, that they might know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent. I glorified you on the earth by completing the work which you gave me to do. So now, Father, you glorify me by your own glory which I had with you before the world was. If you liked this video, hit the like button, brush up on your Hebrew and Greek, and we will see you next time.